Hi everyone, this is Bonnie from Really Reasonable Ribbon and I'm back today with my Bow It All tool from Zutter. Today I'm going to show you some different ways to make bows with ribbon that is printed on one side. I'm not going to spend a lot of time to, on today's video talking about the locking C-knot in the back and going over that slowly, so if you still need some help with that, go back to our first video and watch that again. So in our first video, we, I was showing a lot of bows that using the figure 8 wrapping method. And as you can see, with a ribbon that's printed on one side, that's not going to work because your printed side is showing on the right, but you got the back of the ribbon exposed on the left side. So the easiest way around that is to not figure eight as you're wrapping. Just wrap around the outside of both pegs. Um, we're going to do a two loop bow, so I've wrapped around twice. Um, the ribbon on my left is going to be the center of the bow, so I have it folded in half to give it a little lower profile. And I'm going to go ahead and make my locking C-knot. And as you are tightening the back, make sure that the printed side is facing you. Because when you're working on this tool, you're always looking at the front of your bow. You're actually always looking at the front of your bow and upside down. So you can see what's going on. So tighten, once you're happy with the way it looks, tighten the knot as far as you can go. And go ahead and clip your tails. And slide it off. And then just fluff out your loops. Pull your tails down. And there's your first little double bow with printed ribbon. Now if you like the way the figure eight bows look, because they are a little poofier, um, you can still do a figure eight bow with this ribbon. You just need to add a little twist in the middle. So we're starting out the same way. You you're, leave as much of a tail as you want on your left side. Come around the right peg, and as you're going through the center, you're gonna do a little half twist. So that as you're coming around the left peg, the, the good side of the ribbon is showing again. Go through the middle, a little half twist through the middle, and another half twist. So now we have two on each side, two loops on each side. Cross over in the back, and finish your bow just as we've been doing. And make sure as you're tightening your tails that the print is facing you. Take a look at it. If there's anything that needs a little adjusting, go ahead and do that now. Tighten it up as much as you can. Clip your tails and slide the bow off. And there's your little double bow with the figure eight. Okay, now we're going to add two pegs in the back so we can do a layered bow. So my back pegs will be three inches apart and my front two are two inches apart. Lock them down. And we're going to start in the back. Come through the middle, do your half twist. Come back through the middle, do your half twist again. We're now on the front pegs. Half twist and back to the back. Half twist. That way the print is always facing out. So now we're done. We have two loops on each side of the front pegs and two loops on each side of the back. Cross your ribbons over in the back. Tie your locking C-knot, adjust your tails so that the print is facing you. Make sure the center is actually in the center. If there's anything you want to adjust, go ahead and do that now. When you're happy with it, just go ahead and tighten it as much as you can. Trim your tails. Slide your bow off, and there's your little double. 
layered bow. I just love that swirl to that. That's so pretty. Okay, next up we are going to use a 7 8 inch Swiss dot grow grain. Now with the previous bows have all been satin, which is a little bit lighter weight than the grow grain. But there's no reason to avoid using any ribbon. You can use any ribbon you want and tie a gorgeous bow with this tool. Um, one trick that you can use if you're having a little trouble with the twisting when you first get started is use your little helping hands peg. Let, let that hold the ribbon that you usually would hold with your left hand. That way you can have two hands to help you make your twists as you're going through the middle. Whoops. So I typically with a heavier ribbon, I'm going to want to make fewer loops because the heavier ribbon gets a little bulky in the center of the bow. So I wouldn't go for like, you know, three or four loops on either side. For this one, we're going to do two loops in the back and one loop in the front. Okay. And if there's any adjusting you want to do. So we have the one loop in the front, two loops on each side of the back. Release your helping hands. And in your left hand, you have the center of the ribbon. So again, I folded it in half. Bring it through to the back. Make my locking C knot. And twist the tails around so that you get them so the print is facing you. If there's anything you want to adjust, try to pull up the center so it is in the centered on top of the two loops in the back. Sometimes it just does that. Sometimes you have to make it. And then pull it as tight as you can. And go ahead and clip your tails. And slide your ribbon off. And even with a thick ribbon, a heavier ribbon like girl grain, you're going to come out with a beautiful layered bow. And one more bow I want to show you is I really like how the 3 8 inch printed girl grain makes a really, whoops, what am I doing? I need them in the 1 inch hole. one out so it won't be in our way. This 3 8 inch chevron printed grow grain makes an adorable little one inch bow. Lock this down. I go for like two loops on each side again so it doesn't get too bulky because this is a small bow. And I'm twisting just like we did on the other bows. Now, even though this is a, a narrower grow grain, because it's such a small bow, I'm still going to fold that center in half to make it a narrower center. Make your locking C knot. Make sure the tails are going to face forward and that your center is actually in the center. bow with printed grow grain. I had a few clippies that I made using these cute little bows. So don't be afraid to use different types of ribbon with your bows. You can use any ribbon that you have with this bow easy tool and you'll get a gorgeous bow. I'll be back soon with another video on different types of bows you can make so be sure to subscribe to our channel on YouTube so you don't miss it.